let me talk to you about pencil sharpener. Uh, there are many different types and uh, sometimes people have uh, uh, a pencil sharpener left over that's one of these kind you hold in your hand and you actually turn your pencil into it and uh, there's a disadvantage to these in that it doesn't put the the uh, angle of the bevel uh, that I would like to have you use and it's very messy. I like to be able to try and keep my hands as clean as possible and so this ends up by putting graphite all over your hands and you get it on your paper, on your table surface and different things. So I would really suggest that you get a, uh, and you can see the difference in these two. Look at the difference in the bevel. And uh, I would suggest that you get an electric pencil sharpener. It'll last you a long, long time. Uh, and also uh, don't get too, uh, you know, be careful which one you get. This is an Exacto powerhouse. Uh, their Panasonic has some good ones, uh, but I would like you to have one that actually makes a good point. Sometimes you won't think that it's quite the point that you would like, and so when you're sharpening it, you can twirl it in here and actually come up with a little more uh, of an exact point. And the method we're going to use that exact point is very, very important because I want to know where we're going to make contact on the paper. I want to be able to draw with uh, uh, lines and uh, and you'll see how it falls together but uh, I think this is a good investment. Now sometimes you'll uh, come up with a very very sharp point like this. If it is a little bit squared off on the end and your pencil sharpener just will not take it to a point uh, I would take it back or uh, use a different pencil sharpener. So the bevel, the point, and the sheer convenience of this electric uh, pencil sharpener is pretty wonderful because I uh, don't want to spend a lot of time when I'm sharpening my pencil uh, having to use a blade or one of these uh, older style ones that you hold in your hand. So that's pencil sharpeners.